Hello, so today's flow is going to be about the Bhagavans and you can do this either as a separate practice or just take some elements out of it if you want to get your Bhagavans deeper. So anyway, we are going to start and let's start just sitting. So sit comfortably with the crossed legs and straighten your back. And first of all, concentrate on your breath and deepen your breath. Feel the inhale filling up your lungs fully and the exhale emptying your lungs. And also you can breathe with the sound, listening to the sound of your breath. Take one more deep inhale and exhale. And then Let's start in a so-called cat's pose. So go to all fours and first straighten your back and then with an inhale, arch your back. Exhale around your back as much as you can. And then two more times, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. and exhale and then straighten your back and just push away from your hands from your fingertips and go into the downward facing dog and here if you feel like making any movements feel free so you can shift your weight from one foot to another or do some other movements all the time pushing away from your hands breathing deeply and then with an inhale take a long step forward look in front of you and exhale go into the forward fold and stay here for a while you can even take your elbows and let yourself just hang here for a while straighten the knees if you can and then release your arms and just go up look at your thumbs and exhale so just straighten here let's start with the normal sun salutation A so inhale raise your arms exhale fold forward Inhale, look in front and exhale, step back into Chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog and stay here. Let's take a few deep breaths. One. Two. Three, four, five, and then inhale, look in front and take a long step forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, go up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Again, inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga. 
inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, deep breath, one, two, Four, five, inhale, look in front, take a separate jump, forward, exhale, fold, inhale, raise your arms, look up, exhale, samasthiti, let's do one more, inhale, raise your arms, Exhale, fold. Inhale, look in front. Exhale. Into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, look in front, jump or step forward, exhale, fold, inhale, raise your arms, exhale, samasthiti, now with an inhale, bend your knees, look up, exhale, fold, inhale, look in front, exhale, into Chaturanga, inhale, open the chest, exhale, downward facing dog from here, inhale, take a step with your right, and attention, the left foot is on the toes, and stand up here, square the hips, and inhale, raise your arms, spend some time here, maybe you will manage to Lower down a little bit, very strong left leg, very straight, like as if you were pushing against the wall with your heel. And then exhale. Let's go straight into the downward facing dog. And inhale, the other side. So step in front, go on your toes, straighten, and raise your arms. Stay here. Very strong legs. Maybe you'll manage to lower down. And exhale. Hands down. And come back into the downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths here. And then inhale, jump, or step forward, exhale, fold, and here you can interlace your fingers behind your back and just let them go away from your back. And breathe here, feel in your shoulders. And then release. And with the next inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, Samasthiti. Again, inhale into Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look in front. Exhale, jump back. 
chaturanga inhale open the chest heels inside exhale downward facing dog and now again inhale take a step stay on your toes go up and now instead of lifting the arms just do this circular movement with your shoulders opening up the chest and attention to your left leg it's very strong stay here opening the chest and then slowly 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 putting your left knee on the ground opening the chest And then going up again. And from here, step back into downward facing dog. And let's do the other side. Inhale, step in front. The right is on the toes. And again, very strong legs. Both legs are, are strong. And open the shoulders. Stay here. Breathe in. And then slowly, 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 placing your knee on the ground, opening the chest. And from here, going back into the downward facing dog. Take one more exhale here. And with the next inhale, step with the right foot forward. Place your left knee on the ground and stand straight here. The farther your knee will be from your right heel, the bigger distance there is, the bigger the stretch. So you try to sit lower, so lower and down. And now just place your hands on your lower back, elbows closer to each other. And imagine that you want to push your lower back in front, open in the chest and placing your elbows closer to each other and stay here breathing strong legs both legs are strong deep breath and then come back hands down and go again into the downward facing dog and let's do it on the other side so step in front Place your knee on the ground. Remember about this distance. The bigger it is, the bigger the stretch is. And place your hands on your lower back. Elbows closer, pushing your lower back forward. Remembering about having both legs very strong, squaring the hips and breathing. And then come back. And again, proceed into the downward facing dog. Stay here. Take one more exhale. And with the next inhale, step in front with your right. Again, place your left knee on the ground. If your knee hurts, just place something under it. And now, interlace your fingers. Again, pushing your lower back in front opening the chest and maybe even lifting the fingers a little bit higher breathing and then come back and from here straighten your right leg flex your right foot and first of all look in front of you and then having the straight back lower down into the forward bend and stay here imagine that you want to reach your big toe with your forehead actually it's even possible and breathe and then come back again on your right foot lower down a little bit with your pelvis and first of all if you can go on your elbows or just lower down a little bit so both hands both elbows are from the inside of your right foot your right knee wants to go a little bit outside 
And now you have two options. Either stay here or come back to your hands and bend your left. And maybe you will manage to catch your foot from the outside. And if you did, then slowly, slowly, placing the heel closer to your buttock and breathing here, feeling the stretch. It's actually one of the key elements of a good back bend to feel the quadriceps flexible, to have deep muscles, inner muscles flexible. And then come back and step back into the outer face and up. Come back to the other side. So uh, step forward with the left, place your right knee to the ground, straighten. And now again, remember about strong legs, squaring the hips, interlace the fingers and open the chest. And if you can, you can lift your arms a little bit higher, breathing deeply, pushing your lower back forward. And then come back. And now straighten the left leg. First of all, look at how to you straighten in the uh, spine, opening the chest, and then exhale, going down and stay here. Again, think that you want to reach with your forehead, opening the chest. And then come back, lower down, move, shift your weight a little bit forward. Again, if you want to have a deeper stretch, then uh, place your knee a little bit farther, a little bit away from your left heel. And first of all, let's go, if you can, on your forearms or just lower it down a little bit more. Left knee outside. And then you can either stay here or go to your hands, bend your right. And if you can, then uh, reach for your outside of your feet and then just shift your heel closer to your buttock. Stay here, breathing, feeling the stretch. And then come back. And let's go back into the downward facing dog. Take one exhale here. And then inhale, go into the plank pose and exhale, lower down on the ground by bending your elbows. And here, lie down and place your arms just by your sides, hands facing up. And inhale, lift your chest and lift your legs, they are straight. And breathe here, one, two, Three, four, opening the chest, five, and then release, and stay here, just interlace your fingers behind your back, and lift your arms, and lift your chest, try to lift your arms more, one, stay here, two, opening the chest, three, four, and five, and then release. And from here, hands down, and go into the upward facing dog, lift your knees, and exhale. Move into the downward facing dog. From the downward facing dog, go first, again, into the plank, and exhale, lower down, here. First, place one of your elbows on the ground, bend your opposite, leg and grab it from the outside and now just lift your knee higher and stay here also the right the the knee that is high now you want to bring it closer to the other knee not too far 
and then release. And now let's just do it on the other side, the same. Inhale, lift. So imagine that you want to straighten both of your knees. And now release. And now let's try to do both. So bend both of your legs, catch from the outside, bring your feet closer together. They're actually, they should touch even if you can. And inhale, lift. One. Think of straightening the legs. Two. Three. Four. And five. Release. And then with an inhale, open the chest. And exhale. Downward facing dog. And now just place your knees on the ground. Hands on your knees and place your hands on your lower back. Again, elbows closer to each other, pushing your lower back forward and opening the chest. Just stay here, breathing. And then inhale, go up. Take a few breaths and then place your feet on your toes and do the same. So you push your pelvis, your lower back forward, but start by opening your shoulders, pushing forward and trying to grab your heels all the time, pelvis forward. Breathe here, opening the chest. And then inhale, go up. And for a few breaths, take the child's pose. Deep breathing. And again, let's go into this cat pose. And from here, just straighten your arms, trying to place your chest on the ground. Feeling the arms stretch. And then again, come up. And now you can choose either do one of those two options that we started with, or keep your feet on the ground fully. And let's do the full Ushtasana pose. So you Push your lower back in front, pelvis in front, in front, quadriceps in front. And inhale, open the chest. And now again, taking the heels, pushing in front, breathing. One, two, strong legs. Three, four, five. Inhale, come up. And again, take the child's pose for a few breaths. And from the child's pose, just place your hands by your knees and try to round your back first as much as you can. Push away from the hands and lift your knees. Maybe lift your feet as well. And jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale here. And exhale into Downward Facing Dog. And from Downward Facing Dog, just jump or stop closer to your hands. And let's try to do Bakasana. This is a good counter pose for the back bend. So place your hands on the ground. And now you can have your knees just outside from your elbows. Or if you want to do the full version, just place your knees as high as you can into your armpits always or almost. And then shift your weight forward, rounding the back and stay here. One, two, round your back. Three, 
four and five. And now step back or jump back into chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, let's go again into this cat's pose. First of all, round your back. Stay here. And then again, straighten. And just place your left shoulder on the ground. And lift your right arm. And then exhale. You can even place your arm behind your back. And then come back. And let's do the opposite side. Place your hand, right hand on the ground and First, feel the stretch, the twist here, and then if you can, then just grab your inner thigh. Breathing, feeling the twist. And then come back. And from here, just go back into the downward facing dog, and from the downward facing dog, jump through or just proceed to your uh, to sitting any other way and here just bend your left like that bend your right so that your foot is over your knee and take inhale here and then exhale rotate to your right you can stay here or if you want you can also take your wrist or just interlace your hands and breathe And then come back and just change the sides. Inhale and exhale again. Do any option which is good for you, but remember about the deep breath and having the back straight. Lie down on the ground. And first of all, just press your whole back into the ground, including your lower back. And then take a Sarvangasana, a shoulder stand for a few breaths. Proceed into Halasana. So place your toes on the ground. Breathe in deeply. And then you can bend your knees and either place them on your forehead or close the ears. And from here going down and you can just cross your legs placing the hands on your thighs bending your neck opening the chest and stay here for a few breaths and then release Bring your knees to your chest and roll for a few times. And then 
and take the sitting posture and here grab your elbows and exhale go down for a few breaths coming up with an inhale bring your wrists on your knees chain to the chest and take a few breaths more Breathe in with the sound. And stay here as much as you want. Then take Shavasana, relaxation for at least five minutes. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed and have a nice day.